Senate today threatens to stop all confirmations coming from the executive as the upper chamber says it is suspending the process until all issues of confirmation is contained in the constitution uh, are there too. And like what now looks like a major showdown between the National Assembly and the executive arms of government, the House of Representatives has summoned the Minister of Works, Power and Housing about in the fashion over his statements on the budget process. And those are focused tonight on the program. So many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today Live on Channel's Television. I'm Sean Wakimbaloye in Lagos. It's 14, 59 days since President Muhammadu Buhari left for London. 50 day, 58 days on since uh, he went on that medical vacation. We wish him quick recovery and sound health as we expect him back in the country soonest. Uh, let's begin tonight. Conversations by serving you some other political stories we may not be discussing on the show tonight. The 2017 budget may have been passed, but the federal government says it will direct the document in five areas. The Minister of Budget and National Planning, Mr. Do Doma, says the budget will have five execution priorities, which include agriculture, transport and the stabilization of the microeconomy. At a meeting with members of the civil society organizations in Abuja, the minister says the 2017 Appropriation Act, which the federal government describes as a budget of economic recovery and growth, is designed to expand partnership with the private sector. The priorities are five. One is you need to stabilize the macroeconomic environment. And ahead of the Oshun West senatorial by-election, scheduled to hold on July the 8th, the Independent National Electoral Commission and security agencies are putting final touches to ensure that the election is devoid of violence. At a stakeholders' meeting with 11 political parties registered to partake in the by-election, the resident electoral commissioner, Barita Pagi, read the riot act to the representatives, insisting that anyone who violates the electoral guidelines will not be spared. The security personnel at the meeting also sounded a note of warning that anyone caught harassing INEC officials or ad hoc staff will be severely dealt with as an individual and not as a member of any political party. There is yet another lawsuit on the recall of Senator Dino Melaye. This time, the All Progressives Congress in Kogi State and 12 people have asked the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja to stop the Independent National Electoral Commission from commencing the recall process of Senator Dino Melaye. The electoral body following collation of signatures had said that it will start the recall process on July the 10th. In the originating summons filed at the registry of the court, the plaintiffs warned the court to declare that the petition presented to the INEC chairman for the recall of Melaye is illegal, unlawful, wrongful, and of no effect whatsoever. And suspended Boronu State Senator and the former Senate leader, Senator Aline Dume, has been discharged from the four-count terrorism charges brought against him by the federal government since November 2011 on grounds that no prima facie case was established against the lawmaker. 